Hi, my name is Neil Simons and I'm the training coordinator with Diamond Mowers and today we're going to be doing a walk around inspection and orientation of the Diamond Mowers boom mower. We'll start right over here with the hydraulic tank. A uh, hydraulic tank will hold up to 55, 55 gallons of ISO 46 hydraulic fluid. You can check your level right here at the sight glass. Down here at the bottom is the ball valve. Uh, you want to make sure that this ball valve stays in the open position at all times. Uh, the zip tie on here on the handle will just hold that in the on position uh, just in case some sort of debris doesn't jump up and, and try to close that while you're mowing. Here on the top is the filter housing and the in-tank filter. The filter should be replaced after the first 50 hours of use and then again after every 500 hours. Uh, on the side is the filter gauge. Uh, filter gauge measures any sort of restriction in the system and uh, if that needle in the filter gauge does happen to get into the yellow or the red then uh, you will need to replace your filter, uh, your hydraulic filter, even if you haven't quite reached that 500 hour interval. On the side here you can also see some of our mainframe bolts. Uh, the mainframe bolts are tightened and torqued and also marked here with this, uh, this marking paint. Uh, nice and easy to check all of these every day. Uh, to make sure that none of them are moving. Uh, if the lines still line up, then uh, it's nice and tight. If you do happen to find one that has loosened up on you, uh, go ahead and pull that bolt completely out, reapply red Loctite, tighten and torque that according to the specifications in the operator's manual. Up front here we have uh, the front pump. The pump is attached directly to the uh, front of the engine uh, with a double U-joint system and a drive shaft. You want to check this every day to make sure that your, everything is still tight. Uh, there's grease points on both U-joints. Uh, you want to grease that at least once a week or ev after every 50 hours. Right over here we have the brake valve. The brake valve is the on-off valve for the mower attachment. Uh, it's electrically controlled by the switch that's mounted inside the cab. Out here we have the actuator. The actuator is the forward and back movement of the boom arm itself. Uh, the design of the actuator uh, provides for the breakaway action in forward and reverse of the boom arm in case you happen to run into something solid. Now keep in mind that repeatedly running into something solid with the boom uh, will cause damage to the rest of the boom arm and could cause damage to the tractor itself. The accumulator is like a, like a shock absorber for the boom arm. Uh, it uh, helps alleviate some of that shock as you're uh, driving along, the, the bouncing that the boom wants to do, uh, prevents that shock from transferring directly into the tractor and the rest of the mower. This is the boom. The boom has uh, grease points at every pivot point along the boom and at either end of every cylinder. Uh, you want to grease those every day. While you're greasing that, also check out all of your hoses, your tubes, uh, check for leaks, check for any damage, any abrasion that might, might be occurring. Uh, if uh, you do find any of that abrasion or uh, any damage, go ahead and replace those hoses. Down here we have the direct drive spindle. Uh, the spindle is uh, pre-greased at the factory. You do not need to grease that again until you've reached 500 hours of service. The deck motor is attached to the spindle with four bolts. Check those every day. Uh, they are also tight and torqued and marked just like our mainframe bolts. Nice and easy to look at. Uh, if you do happen to find one of those that's working its way loose, pull it completely out, reapply red Loctite, tighten and torque according to the specifications in the back of the owner's manual. On the mower head, uh, we're going to check back here at the flap. Uh, just check and make sure that it's not, that it's not worn, torn, or missing. Uh, any of these things uh, have occurred, go ahead and just replace that flap. Over here on the front side, uh, check your spring trap. Make sure that it still operates correctly, pushes back, and returns into place. The blades. The blades you will need to uh, replace if, uh, if you happen to find any cracks or if the blade has worn back to half of its original width. Uh, always replace these blades in full sets along with new har hardware. Uh, any sort of uh, weight differences between an old blade and a new blade will uh, cause a vibration that will damage your spindle and the rest of your mower assembly. 
Uh, you're also gonna want to double check, just make sure that your dish itself is solid on the spindle and none of your bolts have worked loose here. Back here we have the lift valve. Uh, you'll want to check this out every day. Just make sure that uh, uh, you don't have any oil leaks. Uh, fix any oil leaks you might have. Check out your hoses. Make sure that you're, you're not getting any abrasion that's, uh, that's ruining your hoses. And just uh, replace any that you need to. Uh, over here on the inside of the wheel we have the bolts that hold the wheel weight into place. Double check those every day. Uh, and just if you do happen to find a bolt that's coming loose, Go ahead and remove that, reapply Loctite, and uh, tighten and torque that to the specifications found in your operator's manual. The right-hand door and window have been replaced with Lexan to uh, protect the operator from any sort of flying debris. Uh, be very careful when you clean these surfaces. Use only water and a soft cloth as uh, any sort of chemicals will scratch this surface. This walk around has provided you with the basic information you need to get started with your diamond boom mower. For any additional information, refer to your operator's manual or come visit us at diamondmowers.com.